Welcome back. We're joined by Alexander and Colin Proctor from Made with Love Delectable Edibles. How are you guys doing today? Great. Good. Yeah, I'm good. Good. We are making some absolutely delicious grilled cheese sandwiches today with Gouda cheese. Alexander, what can you tell us about them? Well, we were in Cherryville uh, just last week. So we stopped by, what are they called? They are called Three Island um, Gouda Cheese Farm. And we picked up some beautiful Gouda, which is just a beautiful, wonderful cheese that we can get really fabulously from local producers. That's something we can pick up at the farmer's market or um, just go and visit our local cheese shops. There's a lot around the area. I love all cheeses. I'm a friend to all cheeses, as are a lot of people. Yeah. And it's a shame that I think it's a bit fattening, but it's good fat, right? I, I've been eating more cheese than is possibly necessary for my body this week. But you know what? When there's cheese in my house, I'm, I'm a bit of a mouse. <laughs> I know, it's hard not to be. Do you love cheese as well, I Colin? I love cheese, yeah, absolutely. And mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I would almost go so far as to say that it's perfect for this time of year, which I don't know. Do you want to call this sandwich season? <laughs> yeah, this <laughs> is definitely sandwich, sandwich season. season. You can go to the farmer's market and bring home ingredients and make sandwiches. When I was a little girl, um, in Kamloops, it was never uncommon in July and August to see upwards of 40, right? Um, I remember my mom refused to turn on the oven in, in those hot weather conditions, so we'd always have cheese plates and ham and cheese, potato salad. Mm -hmm. So I think that's where my affection for cheese started out, and I just love it. Yeah, my daughter, Rhea, she begged and begged and begged to make peanut butter cookies the other day. Mm. And, and I started with, hey, sweetie, do you want to come help me plant potatoes? That would be maybe a good idea. And uh, she did. And then as soon as we were done with the potato planting, it was, mommy, mommy, please, can I make chocolate chip she cookies? She really wanted to. Peanut butter, actually. Yeah. So she did. And then afterwards, she was like, man, mom, the kitchen's really hot tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, and that would be why we bake in the winter <laughs> we garden in the summer. Yes, so, there you go. Yeah. This is a really neat recipe. Um, Colin came up with it. Okay. What are you making there, dear? Well, I have some mayonnaise, which I've added our pesto garlic spice blend to. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be a bit of flavor added to the, to the mayonnaise today. And we're just going to put that right on the bread. So we're doing the sandwich open face okay. in the pan. Um, for efficiency's sake, I might, if I was doing several, just do them in the oven. Sure. Lay them out on the tray. And yeah. Yeah, that would be easy. Bunch. So I just pan toasted that bread to begin with, with a little bit of butter. Yep. And Colin's putting on the pesto garlic mayo. And then we are going to load it up with fresh baby arugula from the gardens. Oh, just for yum. A little bit of yum mm -hmm. and a little bit of health. It's a really good thing to do. So this is as simple as mayo and the pesto. That's exactly it. Exactly. That's, that's it. it. From right here. Yeah. I have to get more of this. That's my most favorite one. I yeah. use it all the time. Yeah. So we're going to have to wait on this to melt for a little bit. Is that how it goes? Because this so is quite a thick yeah. piece of cheese there. Yeah, we're yeah. going to melt that Gouda on the sandwich. And mm -hmm. then we're just going to flip it on top with the, the pesto garlic mayo and the arugula and get that really yummy. You can see that just starting mm -hmm. to get warm in the pan. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good option. Delicious. So what we're using for bread today is actually our new um, sourdough bread loaf that we have at the farmer's market. So that's a really good option. We have both a three pound and a two pound. So really simple way to actually, you know, reduce the amount of calories that one consumes is to go for this lovely two pound loaf rather than a three pound loaf. Fantastic. And what we get there is just, you know, that much less bread, but still yummy, fabulous sandwich. Wholesome and delightful. Feeling totally delectable and not, you know, having to feel too guilty about, about going for the whole True food story. Point. Bread is a huge guilt issue. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, this yeah. looks scrumptious, so it's just a time game now. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a quick break. We're going to let that Gouda melt away into the bread. And if you're interested in this recipe, of course, madewithlove.ca, go and check it out. There's a thousand good recipes on this website, some really good ones. And uh, we will take a quick break, and of course, we'll come and join you guys at the end of the show and have a little sample, see how it all turned out. All right. Sounds great. All right, we'll take a quick break. We'll be back in a minute.
to you. All you have to do is enter cfjctv.com. And before we go, we're going to check in on these delicious grilled cheese sandwiches made with Gouda. How's it going? Good. Very good. Mm. Smells so good, you guys. Look at that. Look at that plated finished perfection right there. Mm. Yeah, it's yeah. pretty yummy. And then I've got this mm. nice little starter one here just for you. <laughs> Lucky me, lucky me. Uh -huh. Gonna give it a try. We like to come and so this recipe. Susan lunch. I know, and I'm so lucky for that. Uh, we can find this, of course, at madewithlove.ca. Sure. Yeah, I'll along run Along with back. all of your other things. Yeah, I'll run back and put it up on our Facebook page. So the deal is, with all of our recipes, generally they get up on our Facebook page first. So if you go to madewithlove.ca and click the little taggy that says "Join us on Facebook." You can go there and you'll find today's recipes. You don't have to join us on Facebook, but you can go there and sneak your recipes off the page. And then about a week later, when the station gets me a tape, we put that up on our, our web page. And also, we have um, a YouTube channel, Made With Love channel. If you go onto YouTube and search that, you can actually watch any of the old episodes. So, Fantastic. Yeah, it's a great way to go and follow through with the recipes and figure out what you're doing for dinner. Excellent. You guys, thank you so much for coming on once again. Oh, you're welcome. That does it for the, uh, I was going to say Wednesday, but today's only Tuesday, the Tuesday edition of Midday. Thanks so much for being here. We will see you again tomorrow. Have a great afternoon.